You've probably seen a shooting star burning up in our atmosphere, which in turn would imply that mass is being added to Earth due to the meteorite coming from outside of Earth and adding its dust and whatever makes it down to Earth's surface to our overall mass. But we also shoot rockets and satellites off into space. So is Earth gaining or losing mass over time, and what causes it? A somewhat common misconception is that things such as new buildings or population growth are adding mass to Earth, but that is using existing matter on Earth, so it does not add any mass to Earth, as it is the reuse of existing resources. Thanks to gravity, Earth acts like a vacuum cleaner, pulling in small particles of dust which were the remains of the solar system forming, or pulling in bigger things which never formed into anything significant and happened to come into our gravitational pull. Each year, this adds on average 40,000 tons of mass to Earth, which is the equivalent of a handy-sized cargo ship being added to Earth each year, or the same as a Boeing 747 worth of mass being added to Earth each day. The second, but much smaller contributor to Earth's mass increasing is rising temperatures. As temperature, energy, and mass are all related, this added energy to Earth is estimated to increase the mass of Earth by 160 tons a year, or the equivalent of five average adult males worth of mass each day. The majority of rockets or satellites which we launch into space will eventually, given time, fall back to Earth, which means this weight loss is mostly disregarded. Satellites launched 500 kilometers above sea level will take about 25 years to fall back down to Earth, Whereas if the Roman Empire had launched a satellite 1,200 kilometers above sea level 2,000 years ago, it would be falling back to Earth around now. With the majority of satellites orbiting between 160 to 2,000 kilometers, most of the satellites which have been launched will fall back to Earth, whereas some satellites in geostationary orbit 36,000 kilometers high could stay in orbit indefinitely due to the atmosphere barely impacting them. The main contributor for Earth losing mass is due to helium and hydrogen gases escaping our atmosphere. Each year, Earth loses around 95,000 tons of hydrogen and 1,600 tons of helium, the equivalent of around 3 kgs of mass leaving Earth every single second. This phenomenon can be explained through thermal escape mechanisms, or more specifically, genes escape. The mass of the molecule, escape velocity of the planet, and heating of the upper atmosphere help to determine if gases will escape the atmosphere of a given planet. Molecules of hydrogen and helium in our upper atmosphere collide with each other, both gaining and losing kinetic energy, which in turn means a few molecules can get enough kinetic energy from this to leave the atmosphere, provided they have a free path and don't collide with any more particles. Genes escape helps to explain why this does not happen rapidly on planets such as the gas giants, as their distance from the sun means they have a much cooler atmosphere, giving hydrogen and helium less velocity and chance of escape. The gas giants also have significantly more gravity than Earth, for example, which means the escape velocity is much higher. Given hydrogen and helium are the lightest elements by atomic mass, and gravity affects the escape velocity of a planet, these lighter elements are more likely to escape the atmosphere than other heavy elements, which have less velocity at the same temperature as lighter elements. Lastly, our planet's core is slowly losing energy over time, which translates into a loss of 16 tons of mass per year. In total, this means Earth is getting around 50,000 tons lighter each year. In the grand scheme of things though, Earth is 6.5 billion trillion tons, so these fluctuations of mass are a pretty small variation of the planet's overall mass. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.